Hello everybody, yes, it is Luis Boy here and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be opening up my Vault X Binder. I cannot wait to get into it and show you guys my collection. It's nothing too crazy, but there's definitely some cool stuff in there. While well, we open up and show you, the, well, and I show you the binder and stuff, we're going to have four packs to open throughout the video. It's going to be three Unified Minds and one Sword and Shield. So make sure you watch the whole thing to see what I get in these packs and to look inside my binder. So let's get into it and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is open up a pack and see if we can add something to the binder. I think that's a good way to start off the episode or video. So it's gonna be Unified Minds with Darkrai and Umbreon at, on the cover. Open this bad boy up. Is I'm so excited to do this. I haven't opened packs in a while. So let's get straight into it. All right. So code card. I don't know if that means it's good or not. Um, I don't really know what the code cards resemble. Um, so yeah. Let's get straight into it. Fairy energy. I should start guessing the energies. Magneton, Uncommon, Bibero, <laughs> love Bibero, zoom in a little bit, get close, alright, Dooblade, Beedoff, Muna, Be okay, there was a camera issue, but we're back, Pikachu, Lick a Tongue, I'll show you guys how I'm setting up my camera right now, I'm it's literally so ghetto, but I don't, I can't think of a better way to set it up or anything. So that's what been, that's what's been making these um, so difficult to upload because I can't find a good like setup. Um, reverse Hollow Murkrow. Your final card is an Escavalier Regular Rare. All right. So now that that pack is done and over with it's time to get into the binder so let me put these cards aside and let's get straight into it all right so let's get into this very awesome binder the first page is going to have a bunch of first edition cards or vintage cards i'll let you guys look and pause as we go through uh, first edition, Nidoran, Nidorina, Paris, Ekans, Arbok. I'm not going to spend too much time on certain cards just because there's so many. Um, but yeah, here's a bunch of grass type Pokemon. Obviously, they're not grass type, but they're in the TCG they are. And there's some first edition, Koga's Grimer. And yeah, let's get into the second page. We have Hopip here. Sorry for the light. I'm just trying to make sure you guys get a good um, visual on all of it. So Hopip First Edition, Kogus, Kakuna, Nidoran. I thought that card was super cute, so I decided to sleeve it up and keep it. Um, a lot of these cards, some of them might not have any value at all, um, but they just mean something towards me. They have some type of value to me. So, yeah. Beautify Hollow here. I'm not sure what... Um, I can never remember what the E stands for, um, but yeah, so here's a, um, jungle, Japanese, hollow, vile plume, I have no idea how I have this card, um, well, one reason I got the Vault X binder is because it's, you put in the cards to the side, so there's no way of dirt getting in through the top, so I think it's a really awesome binder. I got it from uh, Randolph's store. Well, I saw it there, and um, it would have just been cheaper for me to get on the actual website, so that's what I did. Here's Scyther as well, Hollow Rare. From the Jungle set in Japanese, which is really weird that I had that. We have a Hollow Reverse Hollow, I'm not sure, for this one. Um, Dragon Frontiers, just a regular common card, but. You know, it's Delta Species in 2006. So I was very, very young when this came out. So I would have never, you know, 
these aren't packs that I've opened. These are packs that have been given to me or cards that have been given to me from older family members. We have some new cards here, Hollow Victory Bell and Shift Tree. As well as Serena, Moralol. Um, these are some Detective Pikachu cards. And then there is Shaman X. Now look how beat up it is. Some of these cards are really beat up and I'm so sad to see that. I don't think I'm to blame. Um, or maybe I am and I just don't remember. But yeah, so that kind of sucks. Uh, Blaine's Growlithe, which is an interesting card. Another Dragon Frontiers, Delta Species Frauds, as well as this Milotic here, which is pretty beat up, you can see. But I know that's definitely a little bit more rare than um, the other Dragon Frontier cards that I showed you. Right, Blastoise Reverse Hollow, I thought it was a cool design. Um, Detective Pikachu, Victini Reverse Hollow. Here's some Japanese cards for us from the Sword and Shield set. I bought it with from the um, booster boxes, you can see. So yeah, Cinderace Hollow, Torkoal V, Restaurant EX, which I believe is a Black Star promo, Turdinator GX. Why right, stop looking at my feet? Thank you. <laughs> Tornado GX, Ho GX, a uh, Black Star promo, Charizard and Breaks and GX um, from Unified Minds. So that was my first ever pull when I started collecting cards again. As of recently, that was probably like my first good pull. And here we have Mega Charizard EX from XY Evolutions. Now it isn't the most expensive version of Charizard in this set but it definitely is a good card to get. I was super excited to get it. Now going into the water types, we have a few more first edition cards. Um, so you guys can see that as well as, um, hmm, it has two stars here. Um, not sure what set that is, but I've seen it before. Um, a zoom, zoom roll, uh, Japanese as well. Hollow rare, which is cool that I have that. I'm surprised that I do. Um, now this, this Lapras fossil set, um, Hollow. Definitely a cool card, but I I really have no idea how I got these cards. Now, this card's a bit weird because it's a Vaporeon EX, right? But it's from this, and I honestly have no idea how you get these cards. So I'm not sure who got it and how they got it, but it's there, and I'm not sure if it's special or anything, but um, I have it in my collection, so yeah. You know what, I'm gonna, I'll give you guys a pack right now. So let's go open up a pack. All right, we're back over here. We're gonna open up another pack. Uh, just to give you guys a break in between. So let's open this up. Unified Minds, Espeon, and Deoxys. All right, I'm gonna try and not look at the code card um, because I think I know now what's a good code card to get and what's not. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like I understand now. Can I open this up? There we go, got it, cool. Bam, try not to damage any of the cards. Oh, see, I saw it again. All right, whatever. Um, one, two, three, four, bam. I hope I'm wrong about the card trick and I'm just like clueless. All right, so water energy, cherish ball, tag switch, L gym. I've never, I never knew how to pronounce it. L gym, L gym, clay or like knit, knitting. Like it's a, um, I don't even, okay, gibble. Uh, swaddle, Bidoof, Scorpy. Wimpod, Reverse Hollow, Blizzard Town, interesting. All right, I never had got this card before. And regular rare Necrozma, also a card I don't have. So I mean, hey, at least we're getting new cards. So yeah, let's continue on with the binder. All right, and we are back. So Fion, two different Fions here. This is a Cosmic Eclipse one. This is just a Reverse Hollow from Unified Minds. 
Articuno Reverse Hollow. Wish I knew what set that was from. Uh, Starmie Break Card from X from XY Evolutions, I believe. Yeah. A little in Sand True. Let me get the um the light back on. There we go. That'll add a shine to these cards a bit more. Uh, yeah, the Sand True is shattered like back because it's um a McDonald's set. Psyduck, yeah, some more um, Detective Pikachu cards. Wishy Washy, Secret Rare. I love these cards. I know they're not worth anything, but I just love the concept behind it, really. Um, and I just love the design. So here we have another one, Weavile, with the team of Plasma. Plasma? I Cipri. Yeah, I'm not even gonna make myself look stupid. <laughs> Hollow Frost Moth from Sword and Shield as well. Kiram EX from. Oh, yeah, it's a Black Star promo, I figured. Gyarados GX. Alola Ninetales Full Art, which is super sick. I'll take it out. And obviously, it has a texture behind it. Super cool design. Um. Let's slot that boy back in here. Now we're gonna go into the Pikachu, so I have a decent amount. I'm not sure where this Pikachu is from, but it's a promo, so that's good to know. And I have two of them, and this one shines a lot more than the other one, I think, which is weird. Now, Detective Pikachus, let's see how many I have. <laughs> a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure where this one, oh, it's from the same set as that Azumarill. All right, we have Jungle. Uh, Pikachu. Uh, this is from a recent set, right? This is from a very recent set, and I honestly can't remember. From, um, oh, it's the Pikachu and Eevee um, box, right? I, I believe so. Yeah, it's a super cool card. Totodile Delta Species as well. Full Torp. Uh, I'm not sure what set this is from, but 2004, so it's pretty cool. Golem. There we go. Teeny Delta Species as well, a Bolton, so that's a new card, you go from 2005 to 2020, and then EX Powers Keep Power Keepers, which is cool that I have this card, um, because obviously, I, like, I'll probably never open up these packs, ever, which really sucks, <clears throat> because they're just so expensive now, alright, Thunderous Reverse Hollow, looks like it's from Black and White, and Zapdos Hollow, pretty cool design there with the Hollow going from um, down to up or up to down, whatever. Now we have this Hollow Reverse Hollow, actually Reverse Hollow Rare <clears throat> from this set. I'm I'm I need to remember the name of that because it's everybody's favorite set, really. Um, well, a lot of people's favorites, and it's I think it's the last um, thing that Wizards of the Coast did, <clears throat> the last set that they did. Now this absolutely beat up EX Team Rocket Returns Dark Electrode. Look how badly that is. And uh, like it, I feel like it's a really cool card and really special card. So that's why I kept it sleeved up and everything. But it is, it is falling apart. <laughs> it really is falling apart. Here you have Toga Demaru common card. I just love Toga Demaru a lot. So that's why I have him sleeved up. All right. Is there any more electric type? Oh yeah, there's a few more. All right, so Pikachu GX uh, from the Black Star promo with Eevee. So that'll, you know, give you a hint about what other card is to come. More Peko V Japanese. And also another Japanese, more Peko V Max card. So two pretty cool cards. Now we're getting into the Psychic or Ghost or you know, whatever they call it in T TCG. Gopagrigus, um, Card also going up and down team plasma in the background so the other one wasn't team plasma <laughs> team plasma then what is that okay i'm not even gonna guess what i feel so bad for being stupid and not remembering what um team that was from diamond and pearl Cresselia level x card which is pretty cool it's pretty beaten up though um but i know it has some value to it this Gardevoir, I have no idea where it's from, but it's cool, and it's a hollow card. I have some reverse hollows here with Golurk, Blacephalon, Gothitelle. This Dusknoir, also don't know where it's from, but it looks like it is 
in the similar time space as that Gardevoir. The Ponyta promo card for Sword and Shield. There that there's that. Salazzle Hollow. Very cool. Now this Dust Skull is a card that I always made sure I kept on to because I knew it was shiny. I knew I wasn't going crazy. It is shiny. It's red instead of that dark color that it usually is. So yeah, it's definitely a cool card to get. And then here is from Team Rocket. One of my favorite designs actually. Hypno with the eyes in the back. Hollow rare card. Super sick design. And Cosma GX from a promo. Um, this promo box was actually one of the first uh, promo boxes that I bought when getting back into Pokemon collecting. <clears throat> Here's Ndidi, uh, Japanese V card. Now I'm trying to not show you what is what card is in this direction because I don't want to spoil it. But here is a Haunter first edition fossil set card. Um, I'm so confused and amazed that I have this card in my possession somehow. Um, it might not be crazy to some of you guys, but as someone who's um, a little younger and has been able to open packs um, when it first came out, it's definitely a cool card to know that I have because I may never open those packs ever. Uh, here's the Lunala GX with the um, like golden card type thing, I guess. Um, yeah, that came with, I think that's a Hidden Fates, Hidden Fates box. Alright, is there any more? No, alright, so before we get into the fighting Pokemon, we will open up another pack. And yet another break. Alright, so Unified Minds again, Giratina and Garchomp. Let's open this up, let's hope we can get something good, because the first two packs were not too great. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the Binder 4 definitely some cool stuff in there um i'd be willing to give some cards away if somebody is like you know really interested in some of them um you know who knows so comment below if there's a card you really want maybe we can negotiate something so i'm gonna get rid of the code card i'm not gonna look at it there we go i was able to not look at it one two three four from the back and i'm gonna guess electric nope water again okay water as health, that's cool. Oh, camera. Relax there, buddy. Camera's acting up. All right, Blues Tactics. Fracture. All right, mm, Fracture, no way bad. I'm trying to fix the camera. Um, see if we can get that in focus. Sneasel. Yeah, I'll show you guys the camera setup after this. It's so bad, but you know, I'm trying. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get like a tripod or something soon. Droll tick, so land it. Reverse hollow onyx. And the final card is a drift blim. All right, so nothing in the unified minds packs. But that's all right. Which is acting like a Geodude. I <laughs> So weird to me I, I don't even know if this card is like rare or anything but i just saw like its design and i was like this is so weird here's box Mankey, first edition from gym i don't want to mess up the gym the two gym things gym challengers it could be um this Mankey as well from first edition um jungle set now another one of those ex's with the championship in the background which is i'm not sure how it ended up in my house or how do you even get those cards? Here's a Groudon. X and Y promo card, okay. And Shattered in the back. A Unified Minds. Cosmic Eclipse. Um, Groudon here. The Shattered background. This Lucario, I also do not know where it's from, but it's 2013. And it's a hollow, rare, so pretty cool. Hyperior. Uh, Japanese Hollow from, um, well, it has to be from Sword and Shield because that's the only Japanese ones I opened. And Rock Ruff Shiny 
from Hidden Fates super cool card. As you can see, the whole card is textured, which is super weird. I'm not sure if every card is like that, but yeah, super sick card for me. And I really love those. Now I have two of the same here, two Excadrill secret rares. Really love that design. And then I did not know how awesome this card was when I first got it, because I didn't understand, you know, secret rares, rares, any of that stuff. Um, <laughs> actually, what I would use to determine a, how good a card is, I, was, I would think like, oh, that's a, a large amount of HP, it's probably good. Um, that's how I used to think. But yeah, I did not know how cool this Mega Lucario EX was. It's a secret rare, uh, with Rising Fist in Japanese, um, going across. So yeah, super sick. I love this Zorwork design as well. Uh, I'm not sure where it's from, but I love that design. Oh, it's a promo card. Interesting. Okay. Also, this Bish Arp from Steam Siege, I believe. It's shiny Hollow. Um, I don't know why it says Galarian Obstagoon. It should just be Obstagoon, but yeah, it's uh, another from Sword and Shield from the booster box. Really wish I started doing YouTube at that time so I could open that with you guys. And here's the Shiny Vault card again from Hidden Fates. Full Art Guzzlord GX Ultra Beast Shiny card. Super sick that I got that. Very awesome card. This Matang looks like a hollow. Um, uncommon, only an uncommon card, but that was pretty cool because I have no idea where it's from. And this Aegis Slash as well. Over a solid rare, not too bad. Alright, we're almost done with the Steel types. And after that is Fairy. Alright, so Need Arena. Skarmory, Japanese, from the same set as Azumo. As, again, it's a rare card. Kuparaja, from Sword and Shield. Another one. <laughs> Soul Galeo GX, uh, the promo card. Now we have Zamazenta V, from the Sword and Shield. Soul Galeo, obviously the other um, part of the Lunala and thing hidden fate set so super cool card and then my secret rare of the booster box was full art salmazenta super sick card with the red color in the background very awesome card so yeah i have some pretty cool cards in here i hope you guys like this um there's definitely some cool things and some random cards in here here's xerneas hollow we're going into Detective Pikachu again with Jigglypuff, Snubbles, Cutify, and another McDonald's card. Super cool. Now, Gardevoir Secret Rare. I'm not sure what set this is from. I think it's from. Oh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to say it and be wrong, but super sick card textures and hyper rare, just rainbow everything. It's it's sick. Uh, Hydreigon Reverse Hollow Rare. Like Audrey Gun a lot, so that's why I kept on to it. Ultra Necrozma Hollow card. Now we're getting into two shinies, two buddies, two brothers, Gibble and Gibbite, both from the Shiny Volt um, subset. So, very awesome cards to get. And then we have three promo cards in a row. We have the Rayquaza Shiny. GX to complete the three of Lunala, Sol Galeo, and Rayquaza. Uh, Black Hiram EX and White Hiram EX promo cards. And speaking of black and white, we have Rushram and Zekrom GX full art with N in the middle. Super sick. All right, now this is where the collection gets a little weird because I have an obsession with Lillipop and Bidoof and normal type Pokemon in general. So... Here's a bunch of Lillipops and Bidoofs, because I love them so much. So there we go. We have a Meowth. I thought this was pretty cool because I have no idea where it's from as well. So I was like, okay, I'll grab that. Stoutlin, one of my favorite Pokemon as well. Granbull from the same set as Zumal and the others. Beware Reverse Hollow. Furfro Hollow. This Ditto, I'm, I also don't know where it's from, 2004. It's a hollow card, it's rare, looks pretty dope, kept it, thunderous, or tornadoes, sorry. Now we have some Eevees here, the Eevee from the Eevee and um, Pikachu thing. Now this Eevee is super weird, I'm not sure where it's from, but the design was pretty cool, and 
the hollows in the background. The hollow pattern was cool. Licky Tonk. <laughs> or Anguru, Japanese version from Sword and Shield. Igly Buff. Um, I can't remember. Neo, Neo, Di Neo Dynasties? Neo Genesis? Um, this set, I think. Igly Buff First Edition. I think that's what it's from. Now, Meowth V card. Sword and Shield promo. You obviously know what other cards are to come. We have the Snorlax V Japanese version from Sword and Shield. The Meowth V Max, obviously. And then we have a Snorlax V Max that I pulled, which is pretty cool to get. The EVGX, the fat EV promo card. Uh, super sick design. I There's no way I could pass up on getting this card. All right, now the Stalin. I actually had to buy this card. Um, I was not, my life would never be complete if I didn't get this card. So I was just like, I'm just gonna buy it because Stalin is one of my favorite Pokemon and this is super fucking cute. So Cyprus, Cyrus, Cyrus. Yes, Team Galactic. Okay, got it. Yep, that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> That's, yep, Team Galactic, got it. <laughs> Sorry about that. You see, now we have like cards like Sophocles and Big Malasada. It's like they, they're not worth anything, but I just, I love Sophocles and Big Malasada are pretty cool, so I sleeved them up. <laughs> um, we have Marnie, which is quite a valuable card. Hollow in English. And then we also have one in Japanese, which is pretty cool. Now, getting into the trainer cards. Well, we've already been into the trainer cards for a while now, but Jesse and James from. Um, Hidden Fates, there we go. And the Tag Call from Unified Minds or Cosmic Eclipse, one of those two, I think. Yep, gold card, super awesome. Secret rare, I was really happy to pull that. Getting towards the end of the pack opening, well, the pack opening, the uh, binder um, bolt. So we have a Counter Energy, Growlithe. Um, I just love Growlithe, so I sleep that up. Rock Rough, I thought was super cute as well. Another Bidoof, another Pikachu, because I want to, you know, get all the Pikachus. Shinx, which is super cute. Like, look at that. Cinderace Hollow, don't look at my foot. <laughs> Garchomp Hollow. Uh, Inteleon V, promo card. And then we have Delmai's Full Art as well. I love that design because you could see the little tidal waves in the background. Mega Pidgeot EX from XY Evolutions. This is where it gets a little unorganized because, um, you know, it's not organized by type because these have been recent cards that I've been pulling, so I need to organize that. Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX, super cool card. I really like that design. Chandelure Hollow, as well as Scrowlith with the super cool, like, flowers, and I, I can't remember what that's from, but super cool. Mew promo, so that obviously means that the Mewtwo promo is here from Hidden Fates, I believe. Yep. Card Shop, Reverse Hollow, Excadrill Hollow, Lillian Executor, Shattered in the background, Mole Trace Hollow, Soul Galeo Hollow, bunch of hollows. These are ones that I found that I'm like, wait, these should be sleeved up. Box Training. Mike and Rock. Bebe's research. Bebe's search. I'm not sure where it's from or like if it means anything, but I thought it was pretty cool and I sleeved it up just in case. Torterra with the shattered hollow in the back. Beware. Hollow. Beam. Now this, I really like this card, Cookadile. The little like star pattern in the background with the hollows. Professor Oak's hint hollow. I just like the cards, so I sleep it up. Frost Moth in English, hollow. Chansey, hollow as well, um, from X Y Evolution. Super cool card to get. Celebi V. Toxtricity V. So I bought the um, the boost the, the promo pack. Um, and then that I believe I got Mega Tyranitar EX. Oh, there's that. <laughs> and. Nagonadel Full Art as well. So super sick pulls I've been getting recently. Oh, that's Unified Minds. The other ones were Cosmic Eclipse. Got it. Okay, cool. This is Nagonadel from Unified Minds. More Peko V Full Art as well. And then I bought a Poke Collector's like mystery box. Um, So in that mystery box, I got Wishy Washy GX. 
Tabu Lele, Tabu Fini, Tabu Lele, Tab. Ah, I'm I'm gonna get roasted for not knowing. I think Tabu Lele. Uh, Keldio GX as well. Silvali G or type Silvali GX. Yes, not type no. Um, and then the trio of the Bird, Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, all in Japanese. We have the Hoopo theme deck card. Another Detective Pikachu, Slacking, Charizard, Hyperior, Kartana. I'm speeding through because you guys saw me saw uh, saw me open these or pack these cards in my first video. So yeah, that's it. And there's a uh, still a lot more to potentially collect and fill up this binder with. So yeah. All right, final pack of the video. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed my binder tour. Um, there's definitely some cool stuff in there, and I hope I can extend it in the future. I'm gonna be opening up this Sword and Shield Lapras VMAX cover art pack. We have not been able to get anything good enough to sleeve. Let's see if I can open this up. There we go. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get something in the final pack. That would be a nice way to end off the video. But you know, that's this isn't the main, you know, it's not the most important part of the video. This is just something to do um, during. I'm gonna guess fire? Nope, darkness, okay. I feel like I saw the darkness energy, but I just didn't say anything, okay. Or didn't process. All right, double the trio switch. Nicket, Chinchow, Diglett, Pharaoh Seed, Goldeen. This is a reverse hollow. Yep, reverse hollow Sabo. That's cute. And our final card. Bam! Oh, Inteleon Hollow. I do not have this card. So, I'm actually pretty glad that we got that. It's a hollow rare Inteleon. So, at least we end the video off with something. Let's sleep that up. It's definitely not a bad pull at all. A verse, I mean, a hollow rare Inteleon. Start a Pokemon to get. So, there we go. This is the setup I'm working with. I grabbed my little fishbowl piggy bank thing. Alright, so... <laughs> I got a bunch of tape and I made a little surface. And then I used this piece of tape right here. I lodged my phone in between this just to make it stable and like end up like this kind of. And I guarantee during the video, it was like shifting this way or shifting downwards. So I really apologize for that. Um, I'll try and come up with a better way to set up everything soon. You know, this is the beginning, so just hang in there with me, um, and yeah. Alright, so this is going to be the end of today's video. I know it was super long, but I felt like it was a video that needed to be done. Um, just so you guys can catch up to where I am currently with my Pokemon collecting, and we can start fresh, and from now on, everything that I pack, you guys will see. Um, but like I said in all previous episodes, if this gets 10 likes, I'll make sure I get a video quicker than um, I would usually take to make a video. So 10 likes and the next video will be me going through one section of the big mystery box that I have shown you guys in the past two videos. So yeah, that'll be the next little series that I do. And after that, um, this doesn't just have to be like a Pokemon YouTube channel. I could do so many other things. Pokemon just has been a hobby of mine for a while. And it's been something that um, I've really been enjoying doing for the past few months. Um, but this is not strictly just a Pokemon YouTube channel. So I'm open to anything really. Um, but however, if we reach 100 subscribers, I do have something special for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if I'll show you this right now or later in the later episode but i have something very special planned for when we reach 100 subscribers um i hope you guys like it because it was kind of expensive 
um, definitely worth the price. Um, but I think it's going to be super cool. And it's going to be a super cool video for me to do. Uh, so hopefully we can get to that 100 subscriber mark. But yeah, it's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. It's a rough time, but we're all in this together. And no matter what you see on the internet, just got to stay positive And make sure you're taking care of what really matters, which is you and your families and your friends. Focus on that. And please, if you're struggling, text somebody, text me, anybody you can trust, because uh, we're all in this together. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.